Okay. God, I look like I'm out of that. I'm blue. <laughs> it's just a reflection of my light, la laptop. It's um three o'clock in the morning. Oh, wow. Look at Anini. Yeah. Can't sing two songs in a row. Three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I can. Anyway, um, it's the night before the operation, so it's, well, it's now the day of, essentially, I guess. And uh, I've only got about four hours sleep before the care is covered, but I seem to be wide awake, which is not good. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm at that point, then, as soon as I close my eyes my, and I try to go to sleep, that my brain will just flash all these things that I don't want to think. Do you know what I mean? So... Um, kind of that's how I feel so maybe I'm like avoiding going to sleep or something anyway I'm going to try um, I shall see you tomorrow bye bye so it's um, 8am and I'm just waiting for the ambulance to take us in really now um, I haven't put my teeth in because I kind of think it's absolutely pointless because when I get there, I'll have to remove them anyway because they don't allow you to have your denture in when you get an operation. So I just didn't bother. I have got them with me, but whether I actually use them, I don't know. Because i will be kind of like, probably not feeling it and want to go to sleep, really, I'm assuming. So, yeah. Um, so anyway, I'll probably come back when I'm... I don't know if I'll record anything on the way there uh, in the ambulance or when I'm just there so yeah I'm just waiting now I'm whispering because well yeah well, I've just got here <laughs> yeah. feel sick it's about half twelve um, I'm still waiting isn't doctors writing terrible yeah, proper. Um, got me a uh, very nighty on, <laughs> sitting on this gurney thing on top of a deflated hover mat, waiting. Ah, anyway, fingers crossed it's all over soon. I don't even know what I was going to say. I'm alright. It's a little whiskey or I try to show my scar things. Not scar things. What are they called? Holes. <laughs> I got five holes in my stomach. Way. Um, put a little bit of water into that. I'm tired. I still haven't eaten. Well, I've got some pain in my stomach, obviously. And yeah, I shall come back when I'm when I'm, when I'm
like um, about half eleven at night now, and I've got tuna sandwich. I haven't had bread for over two weeks. Hey. <laughs> in the morning because I can barely see <laughs> but, um, I can't sleep it's too noisy I've tried a few times plus these leg things that keep inflating and deflating are not good um, does that be like my stomach's like it's pregnant or something? <laughs> so swollen. So it's just rock solid. But yeah, the worst thing is, is like in about four hours' time or whatever, I'll we'll start flicking all the lights on and it'll be like back to morning. <laughs> Don't know if you could say that, but I was in plating and deflating. Anyway, need to save my battery. I'm going home. I'll update you when I get home with all the information and the, you know, what what they said and what not. Just waiting for an ambulance to go home. Okay. I'm so pleased I brought my own pillows. Because the ones in here are rock hard. <laughs> it's um, 4 a.m. on there. Um, what day is it? It's early hours of the 21st. So early hours of Saturday. I should have gone home. This afternoon, they were supposed to come for us. Ambulance was rang about. Ambulance was rang about. Um, three, uh, ten o'clock this morning, but unfortunately they couldn't come. They told them back at three o'clock that they couldn't come. Now. Because I need like a certain ambulance and evac, it's called, which is like a moving and handling thing. Um, it usually gets booked in advance, and um, through the week there's two of them on to cover the northeast. On a weekend there's one, and they said that they're fully booked tomorrow. Although they did tell us about coming home tomorrow. But the HCs kind of said it's most likely going to be Monday, which is mental because I don't need to be here. Although absolutely aching like a bag of shit, to be fair. Um, I feel like I've been kicked in tonight. But um, I'm not going to lie, I cried my eyes out earlier. I think it was just like the whole stress of everything and then being told I couldn't go home. Um, so, yeah. I'm, I'm still in the hospital. I think you can see us in the reflection on the telly screen. Um, yeah, so I'm still in the hospital, but I'm getting my sister to put this on the screen which is the match, because Sunderland are in the final of the play play League One playoffs and hopefully will win and go up to the championship and I don't burst my stitches in the process of doing that. Um, yeah, still no luck with the ambulance, 
but I'm hoping to get home tomorrow. So, yeah. But fingers crossed, we win. Woohoo! Um, I'm not feeling too bad. Just bringing up a bit of phlegm and stuff like that. But fun. Look at all. We're two nil up. We're two nil up. I'm, I'm really gonna knack my stitches. Like <laughs> this is a, this is this is this is amazing. <laughs> We're back in the championship! <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So it's uh, six o'clock on the 21st, Saturday. Um, I should have gone home yesterday, which I might have said already. I can't, I don't even know what has been said. Um, I had issues around the transport. So an EVAC team, which is an, usually the team that takes us home, the ambulance, um, they don't really work at the weekend, essentially. Or like what is, or what the do do is booked out. Do do? I hear that saying that. It's like a booked thing. So obviously, just a random me can't get in, it seems. Um, so they've promised. So they sent, well, actually what they did was they sent someone earlier, but they only sent a two-man crew. And they usually send a four-man crew, health and safety and all that. Um, and they didn't have any other crew. So sending them was a waste of time, unfortunately. But I've been promised that I will be going home tomorrow, um, which is Sunday. Um, I was really upset at first. I'm, I'm kid proper happy at the minute because obviously we've just gone up into the championship with the football, so I'm like buzzing. But um, yeah, I've um, got headphones so I can watch the telly. Um, but yeah, I should be home tomorrow and then hopefully I can finish my, do my diary video and then finish this. So yeah, I will speak again later. I am finally home. Woo. I am absolutely knackered. I really need to a nap, a sleep, a whole night's sleep. I'm so shattered. Um, and I'm aching like mad. So I'm going to take some painkiller. I'm going to have a nap. And I'm going to round this video up. Thank you to everyone for watching it. I will do an update in a week or something um, to see how everything's getting on. Get my, um, I've got dissolvable stitches, so no stitches to come out. And the uh, nurse is coming on Tuesday. The district nurse is coming on Tuesday to change my dressings. So I might do an update then. Um, other than that, thank you everyone for watching. I can't even remember what is in this, you know. I just hope it made sense somewhere. <laughs> um, thank you everyone for watching. But I really need to go and have a sleep. <laughs> I'm so tired. I think I've had about eight hours in three days. Um, yeah, I'm absolutely shattered. So, yeah, painkiller first, sleep. Thank you for watching. I'll put a video of something else up here if you want to go watch that. And uh, yeah, bye-bye now. Bye-bye.